Hi, on today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you just how I ship things. I'm going to show you the supplies that I use, the supplies I keep in my office, from envelopes to boxes, just so you know exactly what you need if you're starting your store. And I'm trying to figure out how do you ship things. So stay tuned because I'm going to explain each method, each way to ship an item from the lightest to the heaviest. I'm going to show you exactly how to know when to use which USPS or FedEx service in order to get it there quick, but also to get it there uh, cheap. So let's get into it. The first tip is this. If you go through eBay first, rather than going to the post office and paying for postage, you will save 20, 30, possibly 40% on shipping rates compared to just driving out to the post office, putting your box down on the counter and paying right there at the USPS clerk. When I started my business, this is exactly what I did. I had no idea that if I just went online, I could save money. So first tip, go online, print out your labels online through eBay and you will save quite a bit. Next, I would like to show you the, the different um, supplies that I keep in my office. I sell 98% clothing. So most of my items are small, they're lightweight, they're not fragile, they easily pack. If you're selling clothing, this will be beneficial for you. If you're not, I still have some tips that will help you, but I'm primarily gonna be talking about um, packaging clothing. I, I will get into shipping some larger items later in the video, so you can skip ahead if you want if the clothing portion is not of interest to you. To start off, one thing you need to know is if you print through eBay, you can send something first class up to 16 ounces or a pound. If you go to the post office, they're gonna give you 13 ounces. So just by printing on eBay alone, you're gonna get an extra three ounces to ship out first class rates, which are substantially different than if you go the next step, which would be priority mail. So the first option that's gonna be the cheapest and it's gonna get there the quickest, I have two poly mailers and I get these off of eBay. It's got the, uh, the eBay branded at the bottom. This is a nine by 11 inch poly mailer. It's lightweight and it fits most shirts and shorts and a few pairs of pants. So 60 to 70% of the items I'm shipping are gonna fit into here. Next up, I have another poly mailer that is larger. This one is 12 inch by 15 inch, and this will catch everything else from there. So lighter sweatshirts that are under a pound, they can fit in here. Maybe some bigger shirts or pants. Between these two poly mailers, I can fit all of my, my lightweight, clothing items. And like I said, up to a pound. That's the cheapest way to go. It gets there within three days. Next up, uh, if it's more than one pound and can fit in an envelope like this, the next best option is going to be a padded flat rate envelope. This envelope, it's got um, some uh, a very thin layer of bubble wrap on the inside. This can get most sweatshirts, some jackets if they're smaller and lighter. Most pairs of pants, probably 90% of pants will fit in that. This option, this padded flat rate is for anything that is going to be more than a pound that will fit in here. Right now, if you print it through eBay, it's 733 to ship this way. If your item is more than a pound, so it can't go first class, but it won't fit in this padded flat rate envelope, then you kind of have to start thinking through other options. These items in the clothing um, field would be like heavier jackets, some heavier sweatshirts or sweaters, shoes, just different clothing items that are heavier. You have quite a bit of options when it comes to this point. If you have like a sweater, a jacket and it's heavier than a pound it won't fit in that envelope but if it will fit in this and it's probably two pounds or more i would say on the heavier so if it's more than two pounds this is a regional rate a box and the farther that it's going the more you're going to save and this is a normal priority mail box now i don't know if you can see but they're the same size they're exactly the same size, but if I ship each of these boxes to, let's say, I'm in Denver, so if I ship these to North Carolina, and let's say the item is three pounds, it's gonna be cheaper for me to send it in a regional rate A than it is to send it in a priority mail box. Even though they're the same size, same weight, 
this rate, uh, regional rate A is gonna be your better option. So I would say if it's you know more than two pounds, the further it's going, the more you can save on a regional rate A. Most of my items are gonna, probably 85 to 90% of my items are gonna fit into a first class poly mailer or a padded flat rate envelope. That takes care of the majority of the items I ship. After that, you have to be more creative with how you're gonna ship it. If for some reason, um, it's more than one pound and it won't fit in that regional rate A box. So obviously this is the same size as the regional rate A. There's a larger priority mail box that's a little thicker, it's longer. And so you can get, I can get all jackets, I can get um, pretty much any article of clothing will fit in here except for like a very heavy coat that has a lot of insulation and thickness to it. The other option that I have are, you can get a shoe box, and it fits, you know, almost all shoes in this box. If you have like men's boots, which I sell a lot of, I do have like snow boots, or pretty much any, any men's boots aren't gonna fit in this. So from there, I have a 12 inch by 12 inch by eight inch box. It's a priority mail. I just keep like 25 to 50 stocked up. Anytime I sell like men's boots, I will put them in the 12 by 12 by eight. So I have several options just laying around my house. If one doesn't fit, I can go into the next one. I do have some very large boxes for the occasional item that I sell that's probably not clothing, more home goods or just different random things that I, I do need to fit larger items in. So if you're starting off and you're not familiar, familiar with all the ways to ship, this can be really confusing. And you may be thinking, how do I know the best, cheapest way to ship? If you can, do most of your items first class or priority mail, or FedEx, like a more of an expedited. If you do any of those options, you're gonna get like two to three day shipping. You're gonna get some kind of tracking that's gonna upload automatically into the, the uh, purchased item so the buyer can follow it. And then you're gonna get some kind of insurance or guarantee. So if the, if the item is lost, if it's damaged, you know, you will get up to like 50, I think maybe even increase to $100 now insurance on that one item. So that's a definite benefit of going first class or priority mail. So just to do a quick recap, because it, it is a lot of information, pound or less, go first class. Next, padded flat rate. If it's one pound or more and fits in that envelope, padded flat rate. Then if it's over a pound and it doesn't go into the padded flat rate, can it fit into the regional rate A and is it cheaper? The best way to do this is if I have an item that I know will not go on those first two options, I will put it on a scale and I will see how much it weighs. So let's say it weighs two pounds and eight ounces. I usually add about six to eight ounces for if there's bubble wrap needed or the box or just different things like that. I will then go into the uh, shipping labels on eBay and I will plug in three pounds or two, you know just under three pounds. And what I will do is I will look at the priority mail version versus the regional rate A and I will compare the prices and obviously I'm gonna take the cheapest. Just know that even if you don't have it figured out ahead of time, you can always, as long as you have these supplies, you can always figure it out when you go to ship it. You can plug in numbers and play with it just to see if, um, to see which option is the cheapest. You may be wondering, hey, I don't sell clothing, I sell hard goods. So what's the best option for me? Well, I'm still gonna stick with the way I do things. First class is gonna be the best if it's under a pound. Padded flat rate, even when I do hard goods, I still send in a padded flat rate if it's more than a pound because it's the best option after first class. And then lastly, you, you start getting into larger boxes if you have larger, heavier items. Here's what I've found. I don't ship a lot of things more than like five pounds, but I have had my fair share even lately of items that weigh eight to 20 pounds, that range. When it gets to heavier, I would say more than like five pounds and then up from there. What I have found is FedEx home delivery is the best option. I think it gets there in two to three days you get tracking uploaded, and it's significantly cheaper than if you go USPS. I've done the same thing with this option as well. I sold that, it was like a 10 gun Nerf lot that had like all the accessories and darts and things. I boxed it up, the box was about 25 inches wide, uh, 25 inches long, like 18 inches wide, and 
I think 10 inches tall. So it was a bit big box and I put it on the scale. It was just under 20 pounds. Now the great thing about eBay printing your labels through eBay is that you can compare USPS and FedEx in the same screen. So USPS should show up, I think as your default, you can click to highlight FedEx and you can get both options. They'll pull up at the same time. So you plug in the weight of the item, you plug in the dimensions, the three dimensions of the box or the item you're shipping, and then it will give you all the options. It will give you three or four FedEx options from next day to um, home delivery to smart post, it will give you the, all the priority mail options, so your flat rates, your, you know, and then just your custom sizes as well. And I have found, so that box that was 19 pounds, I think it was going to Texas, and it cost me $15 to ship it from Denver to Texas for FedEx home delivery. And I looked at priority mail as well, and for the same size box, same weight, it was, I think, mid-20s. So if you think about that, that's 8 to $10 difference that I'm getting in additional profit just by going FedEx home delivery. So I think you will find that FedEx home delivery is going to be your best option for items that are over like four or five pounds and on up from there. I'd also like to just tell you that I have some links below in the description of this video, links to all the supplies that I use that will take you to Amazon so you can purchase if you're looking for certain things from um, scale, uh, like a scale to weigh your packages to Scotty peelers to poly mailers to um, shipping tape, anything that I possibly use in my day-to-day -day business, I have linked below. Click on any of those links, it will take you to that item in Amazon and then you can purchase yourself. And lastly, at the very end of this video, I'm gonna put two links to previous videos that I've made that are more geared towards shipping. In one of these videos, I show you how to ship a hat first class so that it doesn't get bent. In another video, I show you how exactly to package up. So how, how do you fold or roll up clothes so that they will fit in a padded flat rate. I'll link both of those at the end of this video. So if you're interested in those, feel free to give them a watch. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it.